Weasel News. Drug wars escalate in Alamo City. The race for governor heats up to a boil. Loneliest robot in Great Britain wins big at the box office. Actor Gordon Henderson is suing the Star Tours bus company, but not for what you think. The war on drugs. Massacres in Blaine County as police are requesting increased resources from the state to deal with drug-related violence. The highly lucrative crystal methamphetamine trade is believed to be tied to several gang cartels. Some local politicians are calling for increased firepower and have requested either military or paramilitary support. They're both spending millions of dollars on attack ads, vigorously shaking hands with random strangers, and lying through their teeth. Yes, the gubernatorial race is in full swing, with former Vinewood stuntman Jock Cranley going up against ex-school teacher and rich divorcee Sue Murray. Residents are torn on who to vote for. I like Jock Cranley. I think he'll throttle the deficit like he used to throttle back guys. Plus, he's had a lot of drugs and three ways in his past, so it's out of his system. Sentimental tearjerker the loneliest robot in Great Britain is once again the top film in America. With moviegoers loving its whimsical charm and homespun tale of good overcoming adversity via ultraviolence. Despite some parents voicing concern that some of the material was too extreme for children. Also, in entertainment news, protesters outside Weasel are upset that the once family-friendly show Republican Space Rangers is no longer a wholesome tale about American military killing foreigners, but in an effort to widen its appeal, now includes gay storylines. A lawsuit has been filed in Los Santos Superior Court today by actor Gordon Henderson against Vinewood Star Tours, but not for invading his privacy, for dropping his house off the map. He's not that big of a star, and he would always pretend to be getting the mail or doing something outside and then wave at the bus. His ego was slowing down the tour. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices.